the, what's the secret? Tell us what it's it is. A long life of hard drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher Plummer is a famous Canadian actor and voice actor who's known for his performances in television, theater, and movies. Back in 1954, this actor made his Broadway debut. Christopher's known for his stage performances in Cyrano, Othello, Macbeth, King Lear, JB, No Man's Land, and Inherit the Wind. He's won an Academy Award, two Tony Awards, two Primetime Emmy Awards, a Screen Actors Guild Award, a Golden Globe Award, and a British Academy Film Award. Let me tell you that this actor is among the few performers who've received the Triple Crown of Acting, and he's the only Canadian to receive this title. Yes. <laughs> you really think that, Ashley, uh, yes, maybe because helps out? Some people it, think it does. It's been a very relaxed life. <laughs> <laughs> and, and sort of only if you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Arthur Christopher Orm Plummer, but is also known as Chris. He was born December 3, 1929 in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, making him 91 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.79 meters or 5 feet 10 inches tall. The star sign of Christopher is Sagittarius, and he weighs approximately 84 kilograms or 185 pounds. In 2010, Christopher won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in Beginners. At that time, he was 82 years old, and Christopher is also the oldest person to win an acting award. Back in the year 2016, this actor won the Canadian Screen Award for Lifetime Achievement. Christopher can speak English as well as French fluently, in 2005, Plummer and his daughter Amanda were both nominated for an Emmy Award. Although Amanda won the award, Plummer did not. Plummer won an Academy Award when he was 82 years old, becoming the oldest person to receive this award. Moreover, he's also the oldest person to have been nominated for an Acting Academy Award for all the money in the world. This actor has been married three times. In 1956, Plummer married actress Tammy Grimes. Together, they had a daughter named Amanda, who's also an actress. She was born in 1957, and in 1960, Plummer and Tammy divorced. Next, the actor married journalist Patricia Lewis. They got married on May 4, 1962, and divorced in 1967. In 1970, Christopher married Elaine Taylor. They still live together in Weston, Connecticut tense when one went to work. Yeah. But we all used to try in New York and Broadway in the, in the 50s. Jason Robards was one of my great friends. Jason Robards, one of the great. The actor was born to John Orm Plummer and Isabella Mary and is the only child of his parents. His father sold stocks and securities and his mother worked as a secretary to the Dean of Sciences at McGill University. Christopher is a second cousin of the famous British actor Nigel Bruce Nigel is well known for his role as Dr. Watson in Basil Rathbone's Sherlock Holmes. On his father's side, the great uncle of Christopher was a patent lawyer as well as Agent F.B. Featherstone. The parents of this actor divorced shortly after he was born, and Isabella brought him up in the Abbott family home in Senville, Quebec. As a schoolboy, Plummer started studying to be a concert pianist. However, he developed a love for theater at an early age. He attended the High School of Montreal and started acting while he was attending this school. Christopher decided he would become an actor after watching the film Henry V, which was released in 1944. Let me tell you that this actor never attended college, something the actor has regretted all his life. Christopher's mother and his father's family had ties with McGill University, but he never attended McGill University. Then in 1946, Plummer's performance as Mr. Darcy in the Montreal High School production of Pride and Prejudice caught the attention of theater critic Herbert Whitaker. Herbert was also an amateur stage director of the Montreal Repertory Theater. Whitaker cast Christopher as Oedipus in La Machina Infernale. At that time, Christopher was only 18 years old. In 1953, his formal debut on the stage occurred when this actor appeared in the Star Cross story at Broadway. But this show was not successful, and Christopher's performance in Home is the Hero was successful. The actor made his Canadian TV debut in 1953 
when he appeared as the Moor in Othello. And his American TV debut was also that year, on a Studio One episode, The Gathering Night. Throughout the 1950s, Christopher appeared on dramatic showcase programs such as the Alcoa Hour, Kraft Television Theater, General Electric Theater, and Omnibus. Plummer started in a play called The Dark is Light Enough along with Tyrone Power and Catherine Cornell. This show was a success and ran from February 1955 to April 1955. During the same year, the actor appeared in the Broadway drama Night of the Oc. In 1956, he made his debut at the Stratford Shakespeare Festival. The next year, this actor starred in Hamlet and played a supporting role in The Twelfth Night. In 1958, Plummer made his movie debut when he appeared in a movie Stage Struck. Let me tell you that Plummer has starred in approximately 100 TV roles. During the 1960s, Plummer moved to London in search of more work. Later, he appeared in the Royal Hunt of the Sun, and Plummer's association with the Royal Shakespearean Company began in 1961 when he appeared as Benedict in Much Ado About Nothing. Christopher then starred in Richard III. Let me tell you that his most popular role is in the movie The Sound of Music, which was released in 1965. The film won an Oscar award. Later, Christopher starred in Inside Daisy Clover, The Night of the Generals, and The High Commissioner. The actor was associated with National Theatre in London from 1971 to 1972. In 1973, this man was seen in the musical Cyrano. During the 1980s, Christopher appeared in Othello and Macbeth. In 1999, the actor appeared as Mike Wallace in the biographical film titled The Insider. He went on to appear in several successful films, including Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country, Syriana, and Must Love Dogs. The actor returned to the Stratford Festival in 2002, and in 2008, he appeared in Caesar and Cleopatra. Christopher starred in All the Money in the World in 2017. Apart from a successful career as an actor, Christopher has also written for stage and TV, arranged music, and performed them. He's still an active part of the industry. Yeah, actors, uh, stage and stage screen. Stage actors, particularly. Yeah. And we'd talk to each other between the lines to figure out where we were going to have a drink after the show. He's earned millions of dollars from acting in films and TV shows. In 1964, the actor appeared in the movie The Fall of the Roman Empire, which grossed over $4.7 million at box office sales. Later, in 1967, he played the role of Field Marshal Erwin Rommel in the movie The Night of the Generals. The film was successful and grossed $2.4 million in box office sales. His film Battle of Britain was released in 1969 and grossed $13 million in box office sales. Christopher earned $30,000 from the film Star Crash in 1978. The total net worth of Christopher Plummer is $20 million. In 1974, the actor purchased a house on the Long Island Sound for $255,000. And in 1981, Plummer sold this house for $1 million. Christopher and Elaine bought a house in Weston, Connecticut in 1981. The current value of this property is nearly $3 million. The house covers approximately 6,000 square feet and features a bathhouse, tennis court, and a swimming pool. Christopher Plummer likely owns the following cars. A Mercedes-Benz. a Cadillac convertible, an Aston Martin DB5,
a Ford Bronco.